This video shows uh, how to create a, a well a setup project for Visio, which includes it all. That is uh, Visio add-in, for example, and then uh, templates, uh, templates, and then stencils and some extra files. Yeah, how can you? do it now although it is not out of the box it's not that complicated yeah we will go to that in a minute yeah so i will now create a new project of type uh, uh visual uh, yeah here uh panel add-in yeah this will be add-in project and then i will adopt it to include all the other stuff like templates and so on yeah so let's start with that. I will do now. Yeah, I do not want anything special in here. Uh, yeah, uh, let's support a task pane. So, oh no, not task pane. Let's support some buttons. Yeah, in the ribbon. Okay, so we can show. We can see that it is actually installed. Good. Now it creates two projects actually. One is the add-in, and the second one is the setup for this add-in. Yeah, and uh, I can just build it, but it does not include stencil or templates yet. Yeah, so if I just build everything, it is built correctly. Yeah, and I have MSI here. I can start it and so on. So what we have in our uh, Project file. Wix project file is actually a Wix product file. Yeah, is actually this product VXS. And what does it include actually? It includes component one, which is our add in daily. And it includes a company uh, a registration for this add in daily. Yeah. Mm, the add in daily is actually a shared add in daily that is com daily. For VSTO, it will be a little bit different. Yeah. Good, so also it has one feature here, product feature that's called, that's the only feature, yeah? And this feature includes both components, that is this one and this one, and uh, yeah, besides that, that our setup doesn't include anything. Okay, it has also two configurations, that is uh, 64 bits and yeah, 32. Okay, but that's a different story. So let's go, let's get to the subject. Now I will add the second setup, yeah? Add new project, uh, installer XML, and this time I will add a Visio setup project, which will install some templates, yeah? Here you go. This uh, project includes a file, which is stencil, the second file, which is a template, yeah, and that's it basically. It does not include anything else. Now we will copy the parts we need from this project to our add-in project, yeah. How do we do that? First, we need this build folder, yeah. I will drag and drop it in here. Okay, then we will need stencil and template, that is the files we are going to install. And finally, we will need some code from here, like this namespace declaration. Yeah, okay. This is our add-in setup. We will just add Visio support in here by adding namespace declaration. And then we are going to install one stencil. Let's declare it as a component here. Add it to the end of the file, and then the second component, the second template here, yeah, like that. Now we have stencil and template. Also, we want to include that all in our feature, so that is, these components are actually installed. Okay, let's add, let's copy references as well. Okay, now we will have to add here one more thing, a reference to this support DLL. Let's open this site. Copy. 
Now references. We just need to add this to references actually. Maybe it will work like that. No. Okay. And reference browse. From here, setup built this one. Yeah. I have managed that. Yeah. Now it is included. This DLL is included in references. Yep. That was it basically. We do not need the setup project anymore. We can just delete it. Yeah, we just copied from it for everything we needed. Yeah. So now I will open that in Solution Explorer and just drop this project. Delete it. Yeah. Okay. So now our project includes the add in, then template, then stencil, and let's add one more file here. For example, I can add just text file, whatever. New item, text file. Yeah, readme, for example. Yeah, it's here. Yeah. Hello. Okay, now we need to add this to the installation list. Let's end like these two files. It's easiest one. We create a component and we create a file and the file should be name uh, readme. One more thing we should take care of is to make sure that uh, uh, a compiler knows where to get these files. I mean to create a reference uh, to this setup directory. Now it is uh, not set. To set that, I just said that uh, it should look for files in the current, in the directory where the project is, yeah? That is, I'm setting file source for this directory to dot to the current directory, yeah? Now I save everything and build one more time. Let's see. Ah, you forgot one thing. You forgot to add this to the component, to the feature. Yeah? So it is actually installed. Something like that. Okay. Every time you need a, a, you add a new file, you have to assign it to some feature. Yeah? Okay, let's build it. Yeah, that's it. Let's try to install it now, yeah? Okay, open in Solution Explorer. Now we have a setup which installs add-in, then template, and then stencil. Bin, debug, this one, yeah, install. Next, accept, next, install. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So, finish. Now I start visual and I should get my templates here and my add-in, my add-in, my add-in is here and my templates. Let's check categories. Yeah, yeah here we go. Visual setup project here is my template. That was it basically, yeah? One more thing about project references, yeah? About project reference, how do you reference the output of this project in your setup project, yeah? To do that, you set a reference here to another project, just add reference. And then select project and then select this one. It's already here actually, so I will not do it the second time. I mean, it is created automatically when when, uh, well, the wizard creates a setup project and add-in project, yeah? Okay, so uh, here in the product file, in the Wix product file, you see, here is the reference var, project name, and target path. 
that's just a property where to get a daily you can include something different here if you have uh, something like uh, i don't know extra language files or whatever yeah 